video coming back at you with another video welcome back to my channel you guys welcome back welcome back welcome back today y'all gonna be cooking with savvy that's what's up so on this episode of cooking with savvy welcome back to my kitchen you guys <laughs> today we are gonna be making for the first time ever this is literally this is my first time ever ever making this so y'all don't be laughing at me so anyways we are going to be making chicken teriyaki chow mein what y'all think mm. anyways so this is my first time making this so we'll see how it goes <laughs> but i'm going to show you guys a picture of it basically that's what it is that's what we'll be making and let me give you guys a rundown of everything that you're gonna need so we can get started you're gonna need chicken chicken breast preferably um you're gonna need salt pepper teriyaki sauce remember teriyaki sauce so i'm gonna give you guys a um I'm not going to use any bottled teriyaki sauce, so I'm going to give you guys the ingredients to the teriyaki sauce after I name all the, um, like the main ingredients you'll need for the food and not just the sauce. So, hold that off because you guys are going to be making the teriyaki sauce from scratch, okay? If you like to, or you can just go buy you some bottled teriyaki, it really doesn't matter. Um, you're going to need cooking oil. You're going to need um, a chow mein noodles. You're going to need an onion. You're going to need carrots, broccoli, cabbage, and sesame seeds. And that's just for the garnish. Um, so let's get into the teriyaki sauce. You guys are going to need water. You're going to need brown sugar. You're going to need soy sauce. You're going to need honey. You're going to need um, garlic. You can either do minced garlic or you can get like your cloves of garlic and just bust them down, chop them all up, mince them up real good. Um, you're going to need ground ginger. You're going to need um, cornstarch as well. So make sure you get your cornstarch. And in the video, um, there's a few little other spices that I'm going to be using because I like it to be like I like my stuff hot. Like I like spicy food. So you'll probably see me adding some like spicy stuff later on in the video when I start cooking but let's get let's get this going <laughs> anyways oh my god I I'm a little bit nervous but hopefully it turns out good hopefully everything is like hopefully it goes smoothly everything turns out good everything tastes good um but yes let's get to this video y'all let's get into this cooking i'm super excited so let's just get into this video all right okay you guys so we are gonna start with our noodles you're gonna get you some chow mein noodles this is what they look like and you're gonna boil them you're gonna take your noodles and boil them in water you're gonna cook them for three minutes and then you're gonna drain them rinse them with cold water and let them sit for a while until you go on to the next thing that you're gonna do with your food now you're gonna take your noodles drain them and you're gonna rinse them with cold water So you rinse them with cold water and then you let them drain real good. You're going to start by adding one cup of water, uh, five tablespoons of brown sugar, Soy sauce, one fourth cup. And we're gonna take our garlic and do one tablespoon. Ground ginger, 
we're going to do one half teaspoon garlic powder, one half teaspoon onion powder, one half teaspoon. Now we're going to do honey. Two tablespoons of honey. Sesame oil, one teaspoon. Give it a nice little whisk. Now you're gonna take your cornstarch. And whisk it up. Okay, you guys, so now you're going to take your chicken breast and you're just going to cut it into cubes or into chunks. Salt. Pepper. So the teriyaki marinade we made earlier for the teriyaki sauce, you're going to add into the chicken. Don't add all of it because you're going to need the rest for later. And now I'm going to add in roasted red chili paste for a little bit of heat. You're gonna take it and let it marinate for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, so we got our wok heating up with the oil in there hella high. Now we're gonna add sesame oil in there, just a few drops. Now we're gonna put our dry chow mein noodles in there and let them get fried on both sides. Um, it's gonna cook a little bit on this side and then you're gonna see me flip it over. Yeah, so it's cooking and it's going. Mind you, this is my first time making chow mein, so we just gonna make it look good through this whole video. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take the noodles and sit them on a plate and sit them off to the side and start up with the rest of our ingredients. I'm just adding a little bit more oil into the pan. Now I'm adding in my chicken into the hot oil. And we're gonna let the chicken cook until it's done and then we're gonna remove it and start with the next ingredients. Next, we're gonna add in some more oil and then we're gonna put in our chopped onions that we cut up earlier. And we're gonna let those saute a little bit. Give the onions a little mix and then you're going to add in your um, carrots, red cabbage, and green cabbage mix. Now you're going to add in your broccoli. You can either use frozen broccoli, fresh broccoli. It's really up to you and what's convenient for you. Okay, so now that we let the vegetables cook for a while, we are going to scoot them off to the side and add in ginger paste into the pan.
Next, we're gonna add in a garlic paste as well. And we're gonna go in and give it a mix. The wok is up on high, so the vegetables should take about 10 minutes to cook, and then you wanna take them and sit them off to the side on a plate. Now you're gonna take your same pan and add your cooked chicken in there, and then add the rest of the teriyaki marinade so we can start making the teriyaki sauce. So you could tell by the color that I already put in the cornstarch and water into the marinade mix that I made. So now you see it's cooking and it's coming together and it's forming into a sauce. Now as it's cooking, you're going to take and add in your cooked vegetables that you had on your plate and you're going to add in your noodles now and give it a good stir. This is the vegetable mix that I used. Um, it's like a little shortcut so I wouldn't have to cut up all the carrots and cabbage and different stuff like that. Um, I just added a little bit more into there. Now I'm going to add in some soy sauce. And the final thing I'm going to add in is chili garlic sauce. Give it a stir and we are done. Okay, you guys, we're back. Ah! Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. And of course, like always, we are going to taste it together. So I got my plate right here. Yum, 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 yum. All right, y'all, let's try it out. Let's see. Let's see how this tastes, baby. Okay, let's see. Ha 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 ha. That was so hot. That was real hot. Okay. Let's get into the flavor a little bit. I just ate a piece of the chicken. The chicken is good. The chicken got good, good flavor. But, listen. Now, y'all gonna be blunt. I'm gonna be transparent. I'm gonna be honest. Like I said in the beginning. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, this is my first time ever making, um, Chow mein. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. Look at it. It's good. But I feel like once I like master literally like all of the flavors, it'll be like out of this world. Cause like right now it's good, but I don't know. Like to me, I feel like Something is missing. Like I just, like I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Like it's not nasty, no, but I just feel like it's missing something. Like I don't know. Maybe if I put like some soy sauce or maybe if I put some um what is that called? Some of that um that 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 powder you know what i'm talking about that that chili powder type stuff that they be having at them restaurants like i don't know and what's crazy i just burnt myself and what's crazy is like it's not nasty that's why i'm like still eating it like i'm still eating it it's not nasty but it's just like i i need like a you know what i'm saying like maybe it <laughs> I'm miss like I don't know it's missing something and of course it's not gonna be like um like a, a authentic fucking it's not gonna be like an authentic um Chinese restaurant or a Chinese food place or whatever you know Chinese restaurant or Asian cuisine place you know what I'm saying because they got that they got a damn pack they got a master but it's not bad it's not nasty I like it I feel like I can't put my finger on what it's missing, but I feel like it's just missing that um that zhuzh. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe like maybe it's just missing like cause 
I'm so you like when I eat Chinese food, like I'm used to it tasting like a certain type of way because they make it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what it is. But it's not nasty. I like it. Um, it's cool. Let me put this over here. Um, but anyways, you guys try this out. Um, try this out. Tell me if y'all like it. Tell me. Because I know y'all gonna probably tweak it. So if y'all try this out, tweak it. Comment below. Tell me like what to use, what seasonings, what different type of stuff that'll give it that like authentic like kick, that authentic Asian flavor, that Asian flair, you know, that taste. Um, y'all comment below if y'all made this before. And just let me know because the next time I do this, I swear it's gonna be mastered. It's gonna be I'm gonna be walking it, like flipping that shit in the air and all type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry y'all. Okay, go. Anyways, anywho, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment below. Tell me guys, uh, tell me what you guys thought about it. Tell me if you guys are gonna add your own little tweaks, your own little different type of whatever tell me what i was missing what i should have put what i could have put um a certain type of bread anything like let me know talk to me i'll talk back but without further ado this is the end of the video i want to thank you guys so 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 much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time